everybody, what's up? It's nice to be back again with yet another video. And today, I am taking a look at a, uh, a Blu-ray or DVD or whatever that came in the mail. Uh, and I don't know what it is. And now you might ask, how could I buy something and not know what it is? Well, um, <laughs> that's a very good question. Now, I suspect that what this is is the Pierce Brosnan uh, collection. Blu-ray, uh, James Bond um, collection from uh, Groove because I checked the, the tracking on this and the tracking started the day after I placed the order from Groove, but Groove never updated um, their shipping details in my, my order listing. So I think that that's probably what this is. Oh, and would you know, I was right. This right here is the Pierce Brosnan collection in Blu-ray. It's got four movies in here. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, you can see here on the side, this is what the side looks like. Check out the back. This is what the back looks like. It lists all of the movies that are included, as well as their MPA uh, ratings. I guess MPAA at the time. And we have um, the normal copyright stuff down here at the bottom. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty um, happy to get this. I also uh, have ordered the, um, the Daniel Craig collection. So, and this is the five film collection, by the way, that I'll be getting. So I will finally end my long, long quest in acquiring all of the James Bond films. Now, I've kind of been thinking about what I'm going to do when the next actor starts making James Bond films. Uh, and I've decided that what I'm probably going to do is, because to be honest, I don't really care a whole lot about James Bond. Um... You know, my, one of my, my biggest reason for collecting this is that it's, you know, one of the biggest American franchises. And in my collection, I do want, you know, most of, like, the biggest American franchises of uh, film. So then it can be like, hey, if anyone is like, oh, I want to see, like, I don't know, Fast and Furious movie or uh, a James Bond movie or Mission Impossible movie. Or I can just go to my shelf and pick it up and play it without worrying about it whether or not it's on a certain streaming service or, or something like that. So, oh, I want to watch Fast and Furious, I want to watch Transformers. You can just, like, go to the shelf and grab it. So, James Bond films, I think, kind of fit into that category. Uh, now, because I don't particularly care about the James Bond films that much, I think I'll be willing to wait until the next artist, uh, sorry, not next artist, the next actor isn't actively playing the role, and there's another complete actor's collection that I can acquire, and then I'll just have complete actor collections uh, in my collection. But anyways... Here is what it looks like. We've got Pierce Brosnan right here. I do love the cohesion, by the way, of all these releases all uh, basically looking the same. Well, let me go ahead and take this out. Here is the side of the disc, by the way, as I try to take it out. I'm not sure what the best way to remove this would be. Oh, yeah, if I, I guess I, if I do that, that works. <clears throat> here we go. So this is what the front looks like, actually a whole lot similar um, to the um, to the slip cover. On the back, we've got a list of every single movie, but we've also got a, a synopsis, which uh, was not on the uh, the slip cover, unfortunately. So that is one noticeable difference there. And opening this up, oh, that's cool. So for each of these movies, we get you know, little like uh, cast credits here, which is basically what you would normally see on the bottom of the DVD or Blu-ray release if they were like individual releases. <clears throat> and here we have each film. We've got Goldeneye on one disc. We've got Tomorrow Never Dies on another disc. We've got The World Is Not Enough on one disc. And we have Die Another Day on the other disc. Now, if you guys watch the content, you guys know that I generally don't love it when uh, each DVD or disc or like Blu-ray or whatever has the exact same design. Uh, and again, same thing happens here. I'm kind of curious to see if they did the same thing with the, uh, the, the uh, Daniel Craig collection. But I will say that the, um, you know, the scans on these discs have looked pretty good. So I'm not going to complain too much about how the discs like look on the outside. When, when you take a look at what's on the inside, it looks pretty good. Uh, so good, in fact, that I'm like, the, some of these must have been 4K renders. Like, there's got to be 4K copies of some of these films lying around somewhere, though. Part of me is wondering if any of these releases are going to be, like, remastered or redone into 4K. Um, 
but for now, I'm very happy with these. These are the types of, of uh, Blu-ray releases that will kind of make you wondering whether or not you actually want to get the, the 4K, even though technically 4K is supposed to be better, just because these look uh, really good. So by the way, MGM, well done on you know the um, you know the quality of these discs that I've gotten so far. I can't speak to this one, but just the uh, the previous releases, they they've looked pretty good so far. But that's pretty much all I got. Now I've solved the mystery of what in the heck that was was in that package. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any thoughts, um, you know, or opinions, or reviews, or takes that you have about either that physical media release or the films that are on it, any of the Pierce Brosnan James uh, Bond movies. Let me know in the comment section below, and I will take them into consideration as I observe the films for myself. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in another video if you want to see another one of my videos.